Hi, this is Freddie from Binsmith, bringing you another new feature in Revit 2025. This one is one that I really like. Um, I think it's going to be pretty powerful and really nice to use. It's called Sheet Collections. So on the project browser under Sheets, you can right click there. You get the new option Sheet Collection. You can name it whatever you want. Once it's created, you can add several views to this and they go into the collection. That has always been possible through organization, um, but this kind of takes it to the next level. So one of the first things that this is going to be allowing the user to do is actually create views with the same number. So I'll go ahead and create a new number here, a new sheet. As you can see there, I actually created A101, even though A101 had already existed there. So that's really nice. I can definitely see myself using that for a lot of different um, scenarios. I remember working back in historical building projects where there's multiple phases or even scenarios where the owner comes back five years later and you are using the same Revit file, but um, it might be a whole new set of projects. So you want new drawings, this collection will allow you to do that, um, to be able to create that all into one Revit file. Um, part of me wanted to find a way to um, add these to collections faster. Um, the, the projects can get pretty big, so dragging them all the time might not be the fastest way to go. Um, the nice thing is there is a property a parameter for the collection it is right there um, so then I also thought if it's there then I can technically make a schedule and be able to add it there not sure if it's faster but I'm sure we can also make a dynamo to be able to do that faster but the fact that it is a parameter will make it we'll definitely find a way to make that faster it's pretty nice. I'm sure a lot of people are going to start using this once they are able to see how powerful it can be. Um, but I know I'm going to use it. 